What is going on, everybody? It is the 11th of February, 2024. I want to show you guys the fastest, easiest route up to Big Bear to come play in the snow if you all want to come up and play. Hope you enjoy it. It's super short. You guys are going to be stoked, and there's no restrictions on the road. And right now, we're looking down into Lucerne Valley. It's just beautiful out there. And check this out. Here's our mountain range right behind. And that's where we're going. We're going up to the top there. As you can see, the snow's a lot lower on the mountain over here because we're already, being in the high desert, we're, out, we're already at 3,000 feet elevation right here. So anyway, let's do this drive. I hope you guys enjoy it. Look at how beautiful the desert is. What a beautiful place. All right, stay safe, y'all. See you in a minute. All right, here we go. Driving up to the beautiful Big Bear area on Highway 18 from Lucerne Valley. This is considered the backside. Let's do it. Here we go. So once we get to the Welcome to the San Bernardino National Forest sign, you guys are gonna trip out. It, it'll only take us like 10 minutes to get up to the top. There were no hot spots, meaning no icy cold spots. Um, as I said, no restrictions on this route. You are golden. But for those of you, and I know there's a lot of you who have a fear of driving up these, these mountain roads and the ice and snow does not help your fear. I wanted to show you this because if, if you're willing to drive an, an extra hour and 20 minutes around the mountain range and drive through the beautiful desert, it's beautiful, like it's it's a scenic, beautiful route, then this will be your best way to get up to Big Bear, always. Snow or no snow. And wait till you guys see how low down the mountain the snow is here on the backside. Again, nothing in the roads, so you guys will be totally good. But there's snow almost, almost all the way down to the Welcome to the uh, San Bernardino National Forest sign. right up here on the right hand side that is the Mitsubishi plant the Mitsubishi cement plant I believe it's cement a huge monstrosity of a building that they cut into the side of the mountain big time, but it is what it is. All right, so we're almost to the Welcome to the San Bernardino National Forest sign. Here it comes. Here we go, folks. San Bernardino National Forest, right there, here we are. As I said again, it, it's a really simple, simple drive. There's a few turns and stuff like that, but it's, it's, it's no big deal. And there's nowhere on this road until you get close to the top where there's any chance of falling any distances. But you'll be good, I assure you, you'll be good. started is at the San Bernardino National Forest sign. Again, you guys, I just want you to be comfortable to drive up here because we need you to come up here. I don't mind taking this time out of my day to drive every single darn route. And I think for more of these bigger snowstorms, that's a 
going to start start doing this on the regular. Driving up and down the mountain three different times for you guys. But because I love you guys, I want you to be safe. If you think I deserve it, hit that like button. I do put a lot of effort and a lot of gas into this. <laughs> but again, I really enjoy it. So it's no, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. So we're already in the snow. Two minutes into the drive, we're already in the snow. And I, and, and, and I think we were one minute into the drive, but I wasn't paying attention. This side of the mountain range doesn't ever get nearly as much snow as the front. Not nearly as much snow. But when it's bad, this right here, this part is the hardest part of this whole drive. It's these triple switchbacks. There's one with a nice view of the desert. As I said, that's one. Here comes number two. And then there will be a third one. There's number two. Why it gets difficult is because on the turn, it gets really steep, and when it's icy all the way down here, it's 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 pretty crazy. And here's the last hardest one of all three of them. You'll see why right here. Look at how steep this is right here. But with no ice, no snow, you're golden. No issues at all, I promise. Would you guys believe it if I told you we're almost there? You're literally almost into Big Bear already. if we don't hit any traffic at all. Oh, right when I said that. Probably another five or six minutes to get all the way up. We've already gone through half of this. I know it's hard to believe because it takes over an hour on each of those other routes up to Big Bear, but those of you who live in Victorville, Apple Valley, Lucerne Valley, um, Joshua Tree, all of you, when you get to the mountain, 10 to 12 minutes without any traffic to get up. right now is 42 degrees. If there's any little suggestion that I have though is if you're going to come up here when the temperatures are at freezing or below, the only thing you want to be looking out for, and it can be serious, is keep in mind during the daytime this snow on the sides of the roads melts, right? And a lot of times it'll melt into the road and what does not evaporate is going to turn to ice. So that's why I always suggest you guys try to come up here midday between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m.
views of the desert, y'all. Don't be afraid to zoom in. Pause some of these shots once we get up a little bit higher because it's pretty awesome. such a bluebird day up here guys it's unbelievable so pretty can't wait for you all to come up here see this moisture in the road right here if it doesn't fully evaporate by the time it, it gets down to freezing then it's, it's going to become dangerous but right now you've got zero restrictions you're good to go Desert views though, right? Isn't that just epic? Temperature's 40 degrees. And we just got a couple more little turns and we're already up there. gonna keep the camera on till we pass Baldwin Lake once we get into Big Bear Valley. This Baldwin is looking beautiful. Temperature is 39 degrees. to get into more snow up here but again absolutely nothing compared to the other side all right we have arrived look you're at the top how how easy was that look at that we're already up at the top now we're gonna drive down into Big Bear So from where we started, it says it took 12 minutes and 45 seconds from even down before we hit the uh, National Forest sign. <laughs> Pretty great. I know every one of you can handle that road. folks yeah. and even though this is a very little bit of snow over here when you see snow on the ground over here and on those hills right there then you know this other side of town got blasted.
both are in terrific shape here too. So you're not gonna have to worry about anything. Again, all this snow on the side though, when temperatures are above freezing, it's gonna melt and roll right into the street here. So again, try to get up here when it's above freezing, <clears throat> usually between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., just to play it safe. This whole area to the left is going to turn into a lake once all this snow melts. And then all these people who live on the other side there, they have lakefront property for a month or so. It's just so beautiful. Look at all that ice out there. And then coming around this corner, it's like, bam! There's our ski resorts. You can see Bear. And then Summit. Just spectacular. Spectaculoso. So we're almost about to shut it down here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, a very simple way to get up and down the mountain. Of course, as I said, you have to drive around the mountain range for, for a lot of you to get there. But driving through that desert's absolutely stunning as well. You know, just, just leave an hour and a half or two hours earlier and go through the Cajon Pass, the 15, through the Cajon Pass. And then when you get to Bear Valley Road, you'll make a right hand, you'll exit on Bear Valley Road easy to remember because you're going to Big Bear so just think you know Bear Valley Road and we're in Bear Valley right now turn right on Bear Valley Road it'll dead end at Highway 18 and then turn right on Highway 18 and follow the signs and you'll get up here super easy and if you could please for the love of snow hook me up with a like and a subscribe you guys I work incredibly hard at this I'm passionate about it I love it be really helping a, a, a worthy contestant on this YouTube thing. So thank you guys. And until next time, stay safe out there. And I'm here for you if you have any questions. Peace out, you guys.